In this video, we're going to add up the same three vectors we added in the last lesson, except for we're going to do it algebraically. And before I start, I just want to see what these vectors look like approximately. So here's my coordinate system with north being up and south being down, east to the right and west to the left. My first vector, vector A, is 60 degrees east of north. So here's north. 60 degrees away, we have vector A. Vector B is 25 degrees, uh, 25 meters, but due south, straight south. And vector C, 35 meters at 20 degrees south of east. So here's east, 20 degrees is a small angle, something like this. Right? This is a very rough sketch, but it's just to give me an idea of where those angles are so I can break those vectors down into their components in a minute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make a chart with each of my vectors, A, B, and C. And I'm going to break them up into X components and Y components. For vector A, I can see my angles here. So my X component is the horizontal component over here, and my Y component is over here. Notice that Y is adjacent to the angle, X is opposite the angle. So to figure out how big the X is, I'm going to have to use sine. So 45 meters, sine 60 degrees, gives me 39.0 meters. To get the Y component, I'm going to do 45 meters, cosine 60 degrees, and I'll get 22.5 meters. Notice I'm giving myself an extra significant figure so that at the end I'll have less rounding error. At the end I'll worry about significant figures. For my next vector, vector B does not point in the x direction. It only points south. So I'm going to put all 25 meters in the y component. But I'm going to make it negative because it's pointed downward. For my first vector A, it was pointed up. That's a positive number. It's pointed to the right, so my x component is positive. But if something's pointed down, its y component must be negative. If it's pointed to the left, its x component must be negative. So let's look at our third vector. Our third vector is 35 meters at 20 degrees south of east. I see my x component touches that, so I'm going to use cosine 20 degrees, and that gives me 32.9 meters, and it's positive because it's to the right. But in the y component, 35 meters sine 20 degrees gives me 12.0 meters. I'm going to make it negative because it's pointed downward. Now I'm ready to add up all my components. The sum of my x components is 39 plus 32.9 gives me 71.9 meters. The sum of my y components is 22.5 minus 25 minus 12 gives me minus 14.5 meters. So my resulting vector will be 71.9 meters to the east, and then it will be 14.5 meters to the south. And so I want to find this resultant right over here. Right, to find the magnitude of the resultant, Let's use the Pythagorean square, uh, the Pythagorean theorem. R squared equals x squared plus y squared. That was sloppy, and R turns out to be 73.3 meters. Then let's use inverse tangent to get the angle. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals 14.5 meters over 71.9 meters. And so theta turns out to equal 11.4 degrees. And don't forget our last step is to write out our final answer. So my resultant is equal to 73 meters at 11 degrees south of East. I can tell south of east because it's measured along here. This is the east line, how many degrees south of it we went, 11 degrees south of east.
Now, if you compare this to the graphical method, this is going to be our exact answer. It might be a little more complicated, it might take a little bit longer, but this is the exact answer to two significant figures. If I look back at the problem we did in the last lesson, you can see I got 75 meters at 11 degrees south of east. Not exact, but we're pretty close.